Thanks for watching the Vault Sessions. Every view and subscription helps the Songbirds Foundation buy guitars for kids. Watch till the end to find out how. At four years old, the very first riff I played was um, this. It was with no pick. It was. So the significance of that riff is is the incorporation of the bass line and the accompaniment at the same time. So the accompaniment is bass. So that was kind of like what was a um, go-to riff coming up in the church when people would shout, it would be that, you know. was something that has always lived with me for a while and I kind of uh, incorporated it into a song of mine called Make It There. It's kind of a variation. happening in my family way before me, my brothers play, and ironically they play left-handed too. Uh, but the crazy part is I write right-handed, so it never was, uh, an, uh, it never dawned on me what it was a right or a wrong way to play. And by the time that I got wind of, you know, quote unquote, how I was playing, it was too late. I had already got comfortable. You know, for the longest, I thought the hand that did the most work was how you labeled which way you play. And to me, this hand does the most work. I mean, it's all over the place. So I thought I was right handed for the longest. Boy, was I wrong. And, uh, you know, and then playing this way and writing right handed and like more as people begin to notice that. And then I tell them that part. They were like, yo, dude, that's not like not right. And I'm like, well. It's what feels comfortable to me and, you know, so, uh, you know, my brothers play that way. So it was definitely an influence from that. And, uh, and uh, you know, the rest is history, I guess they say. The odd amazing part I would like to add to that is that 98% of the influences that I listened to and I learned from and I got inspiration from were right-handed players. So to me, it never dawned on me that they were playing an opposite way from me. So looking at it as an obstacle or it being difficult, it never did cross my mind. All I know is that the drive of me wanting to be inspired on a 100% on a, a basis was the factor that enabled me to keep going at it until I got it, regardless of if what I was learning was by someone else that played a whole other way. Sessions. Every view and subscription we get it helps us buy guitars for kids. Click here to subscribe.
click here to watch more Walt sessions. And visit the website here. Perfect. To learn more about the Guitars for Kids program. I love it. I love it. For every $100, you can buy a kid a guitar and 10 weeks of lessons. You're hired. Thank you, and we'll see you next week. Nailed it. You got it. Yeah. <laughs>